Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of the Tech Exec Podcast, where we triple your impact per engineer. As always, I'm your host, Aviv Yosef, advisor and consultant to tech execs worldwide. And our subject today is action items to items actioned. What am I all about? It's baffling to see how many decisions seem to be made in companies, but never actually done. Therefore, leaders have this sense of, we agree to that, yeah, we're working on that, and they've moved on, but they miss the fact that things aren't really happening as they ask them to be done, and therefore, they only realize too late that things are not working. Even those who are extremely diligent about ending every meeting with a bunch of action items seem to have this fallacy of not having a mechanism for follow-up. And when you don't have that, unless you have the most rigorous and pedantic team in the world, things are gonna slip between the cracks. And when that happens, you're likely either gonna realize it's too late, and then that's an issue, or you're never gonna realize because those decisions apparently don't matter, and therefore you don't need to be thinking about them in the first place. But let's talk about the former. I was just reading a news article about one of the investigations going on here in Israel, and one of our previous prime ministers, Netanyahu, was asked how he missed the fact that things were in a... There was a accident, I'm not going to even get into details, but how did things end up being the way they were? And what he said really struck me. He said, you know, you can see the protocols. We had a government meeting about this. The government has made several decisions. Those decisions are in the protocol. We just said this is what should be done. And we know that had these been implemented, things probably would have been completely fine. Dozens of lives would have been saved. But, he said, what we didn't know is that our decisions weren't really being implemented. There's a big problem of follow-up. Now, you know, he's a politician, so he claims that in his time, 70% of government decisions were executed as opposed to, I don't know, 30% before that. But putting politics aside, there's a kernel of truth here because I see in so many companies the same. We say that we want to do X, but we fail to follow up on it. And therefore, so many of our decisions just go away, you know, just diffuse. No one even recognizes that we said we we're going to do something and then we didn't do it. Now, I think that there are a few issues with this. And I think that you can take a few steps to start getting things better. Why aren't you following up? First of all, it just might seem like to you, it might seem trivial. You said to do something, you're assuming people will do it. The problem is that even if you have action items and you say, who's going to do what? If we don't make this part of our ongoing work, it's not just, you know, another task on someone's JIRA in a sprint where they know they have to do this. This is something extra that we're expecting to see happen. If we don't treat this correctly, it's just, it, it's going to go undone because someone's going to miss out on it. There's no malicious intent or anything. People are just busy. Second is, even if it doesn't seem trivial to you, you might not be doing this because you're aware of the fact that you're making too many commitments or decisions. And I, I've seen executives who, you know, behind closed doors will say, yeah, I know, we have too many action items every week. It, we can't really act on all of them. So therefore, they don't follow up and they hope that the important ones are going to get done or they assume that. But you know what the problem is? This dissonance is clear to everyone. And therefore, people who see that you're making too many decisions to follow up, what they read between the lines is that, yeah, you know that not all of your decisions and everything the team agrees to is going to be executed. So it's not a big deal. The problem is that what you think is a must isn't always what they think is a must. And personally, what I say is that just make less decisions. Be aware of time being time and limit yourself to only those action items that actually need to be done right now. And if I need to give you some tips for the future, I would start with saying, have a discussion with your leadership team about how you're going to be promoting as a team, a value of execution of your commitment, your word 
being worth something because without that you can't do anything and therefore you're going to try and make a commitment to yourselves as a team that every meeting should have action items those action items should be limited to only those that you actually want to get done action items should have a date for a next step so you know for something that's easy you're going to say we want to see this done by next week but for something that's like you know we need to understand what are our steps forward regarding this and that blah 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 you don't have a clear result and therefore these are usually those that go to the decision black hole because no one ever sees them because it's no one even knows how long they're supposed to take what i say is usually we need to think about that i want to see first plan for what we're going to start doing by next week and it's on joe and you need to have this habit of saying who's going to do what bringing it to a first chunk having a date on that first chunk and lastly you want to see that there's follow up now how you do follow up changes from one company to the other some of my clients really trust their leaders because they're diligent at least about the fact that if they have an action item and a date they're going to step up and get it done so if you do that then they report back whenever you have a next one on one or an next sync or whatever but if that's not the case find a system that works for you maybe you need to automatically paste all action items after every meeting into jira and assign them immediately maybe you need to have a commitment committee that goes through whatever you have said you're going to be doing as a team every couple of weeks checks where they are and you know decides whether something needs to be pushed up in priority maybe needs to be let go entirely whatever it is and if you do that you're going to start building a culture that actually values its own word a culture where our commitments mean something and we care about that we're not likely to just commit if we don't believe we're going to do something and trust me that's one of those key aspects of the best teams I've worked with when they commit to something they take it seriously and without that you're going to find it almost impossible to have a high level of impact within your organization so start doing that and if you have any problems if you have any tips i would love to hear your thoughts my email is always in the show notes thank you for joining me if you haven't yet do subscribe to my newsletter it's the best newsletter online for tech executives where i share three exclusive insights every week the link is in the show notes thank you and talk soon